All right, hi there. So today we're gonna actually um, design a sample app that I've just made. So what we have here is a, a pretty vanilla sample app. So it's a recipe app, which um, I've had before. And what it shows is it shows a list of recipes. So first of all, you have the title, the image of the, of the dish, and then the number of times it's been shared on Twitter. And this is using the Punch Fork API. So when you tap on that, it then gives you a detailed view with more information about the, uh, the sorry, a larger image of the of the recipe and then again the title and then the number of Facebook shares um, alright so that's kind of a very very simple app which you're gonna try to uh, implement right now what we also have here is to be smaller so what we also have here is a tab bar at the bottom right and then at the tab bar we have um, it's kind of like a settings view controller so what happens is um, if you you can decide to restrict the number or not restrict the number of um, results that come back from the settings app. Alright, so what we're going to use is the Ocean template which you get for free on the App Design Vault website on the home page. So if you actually sign up on the home page, you will get, you can, if you put your email address here, you'll get um, a download link to that. And this is how it looks, a, a couple of screenshots here if I click on that. So what we have is that um, we have some nice um, blue, ocean blue. Why, hence the name Ocean, some Ocean Blue um, resources, um, custom controls in here, and then some buttons. All right, okay. All right, so let's get started and then see how long it takes us to get that up and running. So the first thing we're going to, so the first thing that um, you will normally do is to copy the resources. So here we have all the PNG files that are going to help us to design this app. Okay, so that's added into our project. Okay, so then the first step is to do some UI appearance SDK stuff. So if you go to the app delegate, and then we, let me uh, comment that. So we have a method that says customize iPhone theme. So we have these two methods. We have this, so we have this um, appearance method here where, for example, we can set the background of the navigation bar. And that is set to menu bar or PNG. And then we also set the background of um, the UI bar button items. So those are the buttons on the on navigation bar and also the background of the back buttons on the navigation bar as well <clears throat> so if I run that you can already see some changes that are going to show up all right so you see here we already have uh, at the top here a nice navigation bar custom blue it's, it's kind of blue with like a noise texture to it and that's basically what we have if you tap on this item we already see that our back button also is has been customized and that's just by adding what like six seven lines of code all right so we're making some progress already and the good thing about this is this code this sample code is already given to you in every template that you buy from app design vault all right so let's do some more customization so all right so if you minimize that so you can see so right now we have like a vanilla tab bar so it's like the normal tab bar you get from apple out of the box so if i um uncomment that here So now we have a new tab bar background, so it's called tab bar to PNG, and then we set the background of the tab bar to that image, and then again we set a selection indicator image to the active tab bar active the PNG. So let's run that again and let's see see what see what comes up. All right, so now with two new lines of code, we have a customized tab bar background, and then a nice um, blue selection indicator for our tab bar. So now we're almost getting there. So now the next step is to do some nice changes to our lists here. All right, so let's go to our list view controller. And the list view controller, what we're gonna now set is, um, we're gonna set a, a custom background to that list view. So we have a UI image, which is a pattern background, and then we set the background to that to I mean, we turn it to a color and then set the background of the view to that. That's the first step. So as you can see here now, we have, let's kill that up again. So we have kind of a nice blue fabric background. Okay, so then let, let's start styling the single UI table view cells. So go into the recipe cell item. So now in the set selected method, we can actually comment, comment that here. I'm gonna go through this so it show you what exactly is being done there and then the good thing is uh, all the code I'm actually using here is all the code I'm actually using here was kind of copied from the sample project which um, you get 
from the sample Xcode project which you get from App Design Vault. Okay, so um, here what we're showing now is uh, we have when this when the cell is not selected, we have a custom background for our list view. Sorry, for our cells. Um, quick, let me quickly show you the storyboard just to show you how that works right now. So if I open up the storyboard, this is a prototype cell which we have. So in the prototype cell, we have an image view which is which spans the whole cell. Which, this is what we use for our background. We have a label title. So that, that's a label for the title of the dish. We also have a label for the number of times it's been shared on Twitter. We have another image view which shows us the image, the, the dish itself. And then another nice new image view for the disclosure indicator. So going back to the recipe cell, we're going to actually set um, some nice, we're going to actually set some properties on this element. So we have a, a new image for, for the background, an image set for the disclosure image. And then we set the images on those image views. And for the title, we do some nice text attributes to that. So what we do is set the color of the text, um, a shadow color, and an offset for the title. And then we do the same thing for the share count on Twitter. And then for the unselected methods, we have new images for that and then different colors for each of the labels. So let's run that and then see how that turns out. So there you go. We're really having some nice effects coming up to our table view cell. So if, it, if I tap on that and let's go back in there, we see the selected version has a nice gradient to it and then there's a nice glossy blue in there. And then we have um, some 3D, a 3D fill to the selected items. So I think, so from here you can already see how easy it is to take a template and then start transforming your apps. You know, definitely start getting some nice um, designs going on in there. Okay, so now let's continue. We're not done yet. We have a couple more things to do to make this app really look, to make this app really pop. Okay, so we've got a little bit more to do. So let's go to the list view. So that's the uh, you have to recipe list controller, and then do some add some nice shadows to our list. So here at, at the top. So what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do now is if we are at the end of the list. So if we are, if this cell is the last one in the item, we're gonna add like some shadow elements. So we're gonna have a shadow color, which is the UI black color, and then shadow opacity to that, and then a shadow offset. And if it's not the last one on the list, we're gonna, we're gonna remove the shadows. And also, we want to add some late borders and shadows to our image view. So yeah, that shows an image of the dish. So if you run that again, let's see what happens. So there you go again. We have a nice effect that tells you, that kind of gives you an indication that the list has ended here. And it's kind of hovering over the background. And then we have, again, a white border with a shadow on our images. So I think we're done with this view. Let's take a look at the second view or, or the detail view here and then see what we can do with that. So going to the recipe detail controller, we're going to do the first, the same thing here. So set a new background. That's the background that we had initially. And then we're going to set some attributes to our text. So the first step here or the first um, thing we're going to do here is we have the dish image view, which is this large, which is this large image view here. So we're going to use quartz code to set a white border around it using these two lines and then add a shadow to the image view. Then for the title, which is this big massive title here, we're going to change the color and then set some shadows to that as well. And then the same thing for the Twitter share count label and the Facebook share count label. So let's run that and let's see what happens. So if I select any item here, so now we see here that we have a white border around our image. And then we also have a nice bold blue t um, title with a different grayish color to our share count. So from that, we can already get some nice um, look and feel to our detail view. So what else do we need to do if we um, resize that again? So we have a settings view down here, which has a couple of um, custom controls. So now we want to tweak that as well. So that's in here in the settings view controller. So if I change, um, uncomment that, and then comment this one, and then here we're gonna add in ST signature, 
ST segmented control. In the Ocean template, we have a custom segmented control, which is, which is derived off of the ST segmented control. And then in a the moment, you're going to see how that looks like. So what you can do is um, drop it in in place of your UI segmented control, and then you can definitely make use of that easily. Then we set a new background. And then let's run that and then see what shows up. So there you see it. We have a nice new custom segmented control which actually fits with the theme of which feel which fits in with the color of the theme we have a yes no and we can easily change and then the good thing about it is you can also add more items if you really wanted to okay so the next step now is to or the last step is probably to to con um to customize this slider and that's also going to be very easy going back to our app delegate we're going to set use your, the UI appearance SDK to customize our slider. So if I run that here now, so if I run that here now and I click on this, so now we have a nice, <laughs> wow, this is really cool. I like seeing this. So we have a nice slider here with the pattern overlay and then a definitely nice new custom thumb to that. And that is done just by adding, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code as well. So here you go. Now you can actually see how that's done. So we have custom tab bars, custom navigation bars, custom controls, right? And then definitely a nice custom list and then nice custom list items in here. I hope you've seen how easy it is to go from a vanilla plain app to go to a nice looking app with a fresh and clean look and feel. All right. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, just let me know.